Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods, and we are doing the weekly reading for the sign of Pisces, my fishies. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from 28th March till the 3rd of April. Please remember these are general reading times. Fluid and energies can be reversed, so please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you are here for the first time, welcome aboard. Welcome to my channel, and if you've been kind enough to come back, guys. Thank you so very much. Every like, every comment, every sub, every view matters and makes a difference. So thank you so very much for making a difference, Pisces. We are ready. Let's look into, oh, I see star. Oh, nice cards I see here. I don't know why it came all in reverse in my hands. Never mind. We're going to flip it. We're going to flip things around here, it seems like challenge is here okay we're gonna now get the advice the outcome clarify all these energies and wrap up the reading with an oracle guidance message we are using the sacred forest oracle deck this time around spirit what is the advice for my lovely fishes oh keep working on keep going people persevere keep going don't stop yes and what would be the outcome outcome is right here i am told ace of swords lovely this is bringing truth back in the space yeah this is this could be a new beginning of sorts. That's the reason why you are told keep working on it because there is some breakthrough of sorts that's about to happen. Look, this could be mentally or otherwise. Look, fool. Yeah, there is something new coming in with that ace. Aces are all about new beginnings. So what's the challenge here? Eight of, ah, focus. Focus is our main issue here. Distraction has been some issue here for most of the signs this time around. Hmm. What's the outcome? Oh, look at that. There is some sort of letting go happening. Things that are not serving us, not supporting us. Uh, whatever the reason for this distraction, whatever the reason why you're not able to focus, we are going to be able to let go of all of that because we are told stay freaking focused keep freaking working okay yes yes whether it's people whether it's emotions whether it's um incidents whether it's you know news news is very very distracting these days seriously craziness happening all across the world whatever that is is taking your focus away from what you need to work upon so don't let petty issues take your focus off from things that need you to work on them or oh cards want to talk like how seven of wands yeah mm, not really feeling that great are we not focused kind of uh, i don't know it, this is very unsure energy like i don't know what i'm doing is that right or wrong yeah king of swords not having that clarity am i doing the right thing uh yeah there is some energy that is distracting you this could be your own self-doubt that is getting you off track you are told no come back come back hello back 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 we need to put our head down and keep working do our homework there is no scope for us there is no place for this confusion or this self-doubt. No. Yeah. Get in touch with your own self. Go within. High priestess here. Yeah. Know what you truly want. No scope for this confusion. No scope for this foggy head. Nuh uh We need to have this inner chat, people. We definitely need to have this inner chat. Look, justice. We gotta be fair. We gotta be fair to everyone around us, including us. With this distraction, with us getting, you know, off track, with us get not really paying attention as much as we need to on whatever we have at hand. We are not only being unfair to ourselves, but all those who believe in us. Isn't it? 
And a 10 of wands. Why do we have the 10 of wands in the outcome position, spirit? 10 of wands. What is this? Whatever that is not serving us, we are letting go. Yeah. Bringing in new energy. Look, Knight of Cups. This is truly knowing what your heart wants. This is, oh, look at that. Ace of Cups. This could be love coming in for some people. New love coming in for some people. This could be that that's distracting you but we need to draw healthy boundaries you know bring balance if whatever new is getting you off track this could be infatuation whatever that is this could be some kind of let's say you know random friends coming in making some plans but you have your project to finish you know you have your thesis to write you have your paper to write whatever that is and you are told you know that is not being fair to all those people who have put in that effort in you this is like sometimes you just got to be like no guys i'm sorry maybe next time just count me out this time around yeah knight of cups this is fast moving energy and this is all from the heart you know with that ace of cups the page of wands there there is some new energy and the fool of course there is some new energy coming in i'm telling you there is something that you are working on that is going to come in but what we need to do is keep our head down and keep working and make sure that we are fair to ourselves and everyone around us and we are listening and we are having that inner dialogue with ourselves and then we'll be like yeah it is kind of heavy but you know what it's something that i want and i'm gonna go ahead and do it anyhow yeah that's what it is so let's get you an oracle guidance message to wrap up the reading yeah this is this is temporary distraction i i hear what is the final guidance message spirit for my fishies for this week please final guidance message for my fishies this okay purity you ooh, unicorn look at that be true to yourself loves that is what i hear first thing first let us read this out and see what the spirit of unicorn has to tell us this card can appear when you are ready to step into the innocence of a child and see the world with the eyes of wonder Traditionally, unicorns uh, represent purity, innocence, hope, faith, high ideals, and miracles. When you stop looking at the world through the lens of your past, you will find how fresh and wondrous the universe truly is. The past doesn't need to define you. Know that life can begin fresh and new. This card can also appear when there is a need of inner purification and a renewal this inner dialogue that high priestess i'm taken to take time to release what doesn't serve and support in your life and watch the miracles unfold yeah whatever is distracting you drop that nonsense unicorns are also symbols of miracles magic and enchanted living this legendary creature can call the seemingly impossible into reality so if you are working on something and you feel defeated or discouraged or demotivated, you are told, hang in there, keep working on, don't get distracted. And whatever this is, is going to come into reality. It's not a far-fetched dream. It can very much come into reality. If you have a dream that has eluded you for a while, this card is letting you know that all things are possible. The purity of your heart is emerging and it's time for sweet innocence to flood your being. Purify your life, step into your innate innocence and believe in miracles. They are coming. Oh, look at that fishies on that wonderful, wonderful, magical note. I'm going to take your leave. Thank you all for joining me. It is a wrap. Namaste from the land of God.